Hello, everyone. Welcome to our community CPA webinar. Today is Thursday, and of course, that means we get to highlight a special event or um, business in our community. And today we are highlighting the Immigrant Entrepreneurs Summit. Um, there is a Minnesota regional event coming up on May 23rd, um, and I will be sharing with you about what that event will entail. Um, so let me share a slide. Um, I don't know if many of you know this, but I am the executive director as well of the Immigrant Entrepreneur Summit. Um, and it is um, an event that is very dear to the organization as well for, um, for community CPA. So um, CPA is a proud sponsor for the event. Um, and we invite all our clients and our guests and friends to join us. So um, just sharing a bit about the event here. So Immigrant Entrepreneur Summit. So you might be um, wondering what is it about um, and if it's something that you would like to attend. Um, so we'll discuss that. Of course, we just want to put a disclaimer as always no responsibility disclaimer. So just um, know that information that you find on the internet is fluid. Um, and of course the event is uh, developing and changing as well. So uh, what I tell you today might not be the full agenda that we will have at the event on the 23rd. So question one that you might be wondering is what is the Immigrant Entrepreneur Summit? How did it get started and what is its purpose? So um, I just wanted to give you some background. The Immigrant Entrepreneur Summit was formed in 2008 as an initiative among um, many immigrant business owners in the Des Moines metro area specifically. And they were coming together and noticing that there were issues among immigrant business owners and their community that they really wanted to address. So IES started as a platform for people to come together, uh, exchange knowledge in a environment that is supportive and um, energizing, as well as to exchange knowledge and grow together. So that is kind of the, our history. Um, we have grown over the years. Um, this is our 15th year and we will be, um, and in for the Minnesota events, we started in 2019. So of course, 2020 happened, um, that event was canceled, but 2021, we had a virtual event and are looking forward to having it in person again this year. Um, so the mission, um, the Immigrant Entrepreneur Summit's mission is to bring businesses of diverse backgrounds together to share, learn, and celebrate the immigrant entrepreneurship experience and contribution to the overall community. Um, and as you uh, listen to this, you'll, you'll see how um, our program all goes back to our mission of doing these things. And our purpose, um, we will exhibit success stories of immigrant entrepreneurs, create understanding among different ethnic groups, uh, business growth tips are shared among immigrant business owners, and the keys to succeed by working with immigrant populations are shared in a creative, competitive, and supportive environment. So speakers that I will highlight, um, I'll just mention our keynote speaker for now. Her name is Yana Stockman. Um, she was born in the Ukraine, came to the U.S. Um, as an immigrant, and then um, has worked in kind of the field of psychology for a while before going to do her coaching business. So she has a passion for sharing with entrepreneurs um, and being a mindset coach as well um, and wanting people to succeed. So come listen to her. She'll be um, speaking at our opening ceremony. Um, next question, what do you like most about the award ceremony luncheon? So I didn't go over the full agenda, but um, I will discuss that now. It is, so the, the event is a full day. 
from 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, we start with the opening ceremony. There's going to be workshops, which I will discuss later. And then at noontime, there will be a luncheon with an awards ceremony. Um, and that's always kind of a highlight of our event because as we said, we get to highlight immigrant success stories. Um, and this is the, the opportunity that we get to do that. So these individuals and businesses are nominated by the community and um, we have selected two this year. Um, and this is just a way for us to highlight amazing immigrant entrepreneurs who are successful, not just in business, but also in giving back to the community. So we always emphasize the philanthropy and overall impact, not just economic impact, but um, how the community is better off because of them. Um, so we um, have, um, a, sorry, we have past award videos um, on YouTube as well. So if you'd like to see some of those, um, we're happy to share those after the event. Um, there are usually four different award categories in this, uh, in this Minnesota event, there will be two award categories. So I will go over them and briefly, just briefly touch on who the award winners will be for this time. So um, with the Immigrant Entrepreneur Leadership Award, um, Soleil Ramirez from Arepa Bar is um, our winner. Um, and she is an, an immigrant from Venezuela, um, has been in the food industry for very many years, even prior to coming to the US. Um, she came to the US under very difficult circumstances um, and has worked um, incredibly hard to not only succeed in the restaurant business, but then to create her own um, restaurant, which she opened in 2021. Um, so we're highlighting her impact on the Midtown global market, as well as um, her, her passion for sharing her food and culture to, um, to Minnesota. The next one, um, our second award will be Jin Chen from Chen's Consulting LLC. Um, his story, uh, so that is for the Outstanding Business Award. And his story is that he is, um, he comes from a restaurant background, um, was doing that for many years and now has gone into doing development for um, commercial buildings, um, he has um, one of the projects that he will do is a Asian Plaza. Um, so that initiative is underway. He is also part of the Chinese Chamber and is very active um, as an active member and has worked, especially during this COVID time to help consult with businesses as well as um, you know to, to do COVID. Um, screenings and outreach. Okay, the business workshops, of course, those are important part of exchanging knowledge that happens throughout the event. So um, I just wanted to talk a bit about what those are. There are going to be seven um, business workshops throughout the day. Um, and I, sorry, nine, <laughs> nine business workshops throughout the day. So there are three sessions um, and each of those will have three different workshops for you to pick from. Um, so you, you would go to the one that best suits um, your interests and needs. So we'll have a program book that day and then you can read the descriptions of each of those and decide which one you'd like to go to. Um, but some sessions that I wanted to highlight um, recession proofing your business, Ying Sa, who you probably know is the CEO and managing partner of Community CPA. Um, she's going to be talking about strategies for thinking about the recession and approaches that businesses can take to be proactive um, in this time when it has when it's very difficult uh, for many business owners. Um, another one that we'll have is digital marketing strategies. Um, of course, this is very important 
um, during this time um, when a lot of things have gone online. But as always, there are different ways to reach new markets and digital marketing strategy is um, an important piece for, for business owners. Um, so Juan Urena is going to be speaking um, at that workshop. Um, another workshop that we will have, sorry, I didn't put the title of this one. Um, it will be Making Sense of Finances, of Numbers. So Diane Peterson is from the SBDC, um, from the Opus College of Business at the University of St. Thomas. And she'll be speaking about financial statements, understanding your finances. Um, it's not always a, a, a topic that businesses find um, super accessible and she's going to help you understand what it takes to um, really understand your business so that you can manage it better. Um, the next one that we have will be about, um, will be from Inti Martinez Aleman, who is um, an attorney. He comes from a long line of attorneys um, and he will be speaking on how to avoid going to court um, as, uh, as a business owner. So avoiding those legal issues that might trip you up. Um, he has a passion for um, just sharing that knowledge and he is bilingual as well. Um, another person who will be speaking um, is Marco Poros uh, from Mas Vale Saber. Um, and he is going to be talking about um, employment. So from the perspective of, um, you know, right now, there's been a lot of turnover. Um, and so he's going to be looking at the process that where you can attract and retain talent um, over time and stop spitting your wheels um, to, to get a good return from all the time that you're investing in your employees. Um, and then one final one that we want to highlight is uh, Daniel Batten from um, Drake Bank will be speaking, and Daniel is, um, he will be talking about uh, getting, how to get a loan from a bank, what is that process, um, what sort of options are there for credit, um, and what you should be looking for. So some of these are just to give um, small business choices and a bigger understanding of what is available when it comes to lending. Um, I have a couple of questions, I think, in the chat. Um, OK, is the summit free for nonprofit organizations, or do you have to pay fees to attend? So there is a fee to attend. Um, so I'm happy to give complimentary tickets, however. So that is one thing. Um, usually the fees for nonprofits come in when they want to be an exhibitor for the event. So we do have a fee for that. If you do know of a nonprofit that wants to have a table at the event, please do connect me with them. Otherwise, if they just want to send some representatives to network and connect with business owners, um, then have them reach out to me and I'm happy to offer some sponsored tickets. So that was one question. Um, and so the other question was the nine workshops topics. So I did go over some of those. Um, there are some other workshops that are pending right now, but um, those will have the full descriptions um, later updated on the website and social media. Um, so registration, I just wanted to let people know that they can always go to isusa.org slash upcoming events. That's where you'll find information about this event. Um, and we will update it. We'll have different events throughout the year as well. So that is um, something that please pass it along to those who can benefit from the event. And again, as I said, um, Community CPA is a sponsor, so we're happy to offer sp some sponsored tickets to business owners, especially those who are starting out their business and are looking for that extra support. So please do contact me directly. My email is there, katherine at iesusa.org. 
Um, you can also uh, send me a text or call me 515-732-8433. Um, we will be happy to connect. I wanna see if there's any other questions, please feel free to put them in the chat. Um, otherwise we can conclude. I will follow up with the attendees um, who registered for this uh, webinar and I will offer them some complimentary tickets. So we look forward to having you there. Again, it is uh, Monday, May 23rd at the Hilton Bloomington. It is a full day event from 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. and will include a luncheon as well. It'll be a good day. So we look forward to having you there. Um, and I will see you then. Take care, everybody. Thanks for joining in.